welcome back. Been a few days since I put up a video. Uh, <coughs> I took a vacation. Uh, we, uh, I got done planting and a little bit of a lull before I go to harvesting. So uh, we took a week and went down to the South Carolina coast. Enjoyed a little seafood and some time at the water. But I'm back now. I got back yesterday. Today's Wednesday, July 21st. And uh, I'm spraying corn. And uh, we're getting close on some of this corn. Probably two, two and a half weeks, I would guess. But uh, we're going to stop and look at some here in just a second. But uh, I'm spraying the corn. I'm using the Airblast sprayer. Uh, it uh, does a pretty good job. So uh, let's have a look at this and see what we got. This is our first planting. Our first and second plantings are pretty close together. And uh, we're, we're, the ears are coming on, starting to get a little browning right there. Uh, but I mean, we're nowhere. It'll be, it'll be a good two weeks for corn's ready. But uh, looks pretty good. This is not a real good patch of corn. You can see there's a lot of skips. This corn, I planted it April the 28th. It had some cold weather on it after it came up and then some dry weather on it. But uh, that's okay. We've got some that looks good, some that looks okay, you know, so forth and so on. But uh, uh, let's, let's look at this here, just out of curiosity. See what it looks like. So yeah, we're uh, we're a good two weeks away. If we get rain and good weather, uh, we should be good to go. But uh, and then the other patch that I'll be spraying this evening is right behind it. The, uh, what we're trying to keep out of it is corn earworms and the uh, army worm and all that good stuff. People ask all the time what I spray with. I spray with a rotation of insecticides, uh, seven, promethium, asana, uh, corgin, radiant, a uh, little bit of everything. It, uh, if you use one thing, and I'll spray with one thing at a time, and I try to spray five to seven days. If, uh, if, you, if you use one thing, you will get resistance eventually. So uh, basically I'm spraying with Promethium today. The next time through will be another chemistry, and ideally what the Promethium don't get, the, the other chemistry will. Uh, that's, that's the plan, and we keep from resistance building up. But anyhow, uh, I'm gonna get off here and spray this. I'll have to reload the tank. I ain't got enough left in there to spray it, but it looks pretty good. Uh, not the best patch of corn I've ever grown, but it's not the worst either. Uh, relatively clean. It's got some weeds in it, but uh, overall it looks pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm pleased with it. Like I said, probably 14 to 20 days. So, uh, you know, first week in August, we'll start picking. And then uh, we'll pick for a while. But uh, it's hard for us to get in on the early market. I mean, I plant this in April and it still got frosted on a time or two. It's hard for me to get in on the early market and sweet corn. 
Uh, this will probably be coming when most local corn is coming off. Uh, it's the smaller plantings. Uh, hopefully we'll make up for it in the late market. So uh, I'm going to get off here and spray this and get this done. For the afternoon, um, the, the footage of the actual spraying that you've seen is in the second plant. I didn't get any footage 
<coughs> Battery. Battery's about to go dead. I didn't get any footage on this uh, first plant when I sprayed it. So, uh, but uh, we've got it sprayed. We're getting closer to harvest. I've got to uh, basically for the next couple of weeks until we go to picking, just keep everything sprayed, uh, stay on top of everything, and uh, we got to start spraying pumpkins and. Uh, keeping this corn sprayed. We do have to transplant the cabbage and uh, looks like I may be doing that. Uh, I may actually be right in the center. So if I do, I'll try to get some footage of it. I know some people would ask about it, but uh, we'll do what we can. Anyhow, if you like what we're doing, wanna follow along, see how this all turns out, uh, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when we put up a video. If you have a question or a comment, like I said, I've been gone out of town, so if I haven't replied to your comment, I'll get around to it as quickly as I can. Uh, but if you want to have a question or a comment, please do so. And see a video you like, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.